Alright, it's time to proceed with this. I'm going to stop this music. <laughs> it is time to proceed uh, with this walkthrough. Jane, proceed. Close out that walkthrough. Dirk. Oh, it's the auto responder. Looks like you're getting the hang of these puzzles. Nice work. Thank you. That last skull was a doozy, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I did need to consult the walkthrough for it. <laughs> yeah, I guess, but you have a human brain. If you have a human brain, sure. Personally, I've already solved all conceivable skull puzzles for all possible skull states, which is a thing that's like, no big deal for me. Har har. Hey, I thought you couldn't see me once I left the house. Uh, I can't, not through the server's viewport, but I can still monitor your progress through little Sebastian. He and I are linked to the hell up cyberwise. We're so tight, tight like you wouldn't believe. Oh yeah, it's like he's this, he's like he's like he's the Incredible Hulk's pants, and I'm his monstrous package, alert, yearning to bust loose. Why? <laughs> just, just why all of that, Jane? Seems there is a way bigger than the average probability that you do not want to discuss J Bruce Banner's megalithic gamma slong. That figure would be sitting pretty at 100%. Holy shit, some of my circuits exploded. That number was intense. Uh, it's robot to robo consider. Okay, let's stop talking about stupid things for a minute. What a completely absurd environment for our typical blithering discourse. I'm on the prowl for more clues about the strange and mysterious land. <laughs> what? I don't know, just a ha ha to that. Anyway, I think I'm getting closer to finding where my house went. Then I can reunite with my dad, and together we can sleuth this great big pickle of a planet. Well, the good news is your house should be just ahead, if you keep following the trail. Yes, I knew it! The bad news is your dad's not there anymore. Uh, of course he's not. No! I guess he got antsy and left to explore. Maybe he's looking for you? I tried to block him from leaving with some furniture, but the dude was having none of it. Kai, why did he have to leave? That really complicates matters. Uh, I hope he doesn't get too lost. Don't worry, we'll find him. I'll have Seb search within a likely radius. The little guy is real fast. Yes, good idea. In the meantime, you better go find your house. We can't make any progress in this game without it. It's kind of the center of the gameplay, you know. If he needs Seb to do anything from afar, just message me and I'll give him the orders. Got it? Got it. Thanks. Blah. Onward. Something is clogging the hole. It's your dad's hat. Looks like it got sucked into one of the air holes. Luckily, he always keeps some spares in his wallet. That means he came this way earlier. The plot thickens. Hey, it's the house. Hey, there's your house. <laughs> but it's way too far away to jump this time. No power. Excuse me. This looks like a job for little Seb. Oh, interesting. Sure. Well, that's not what I wanted. The jet stream of air flows out of the hole, pushing the balloon higher, but not high enough. Uh, rotate again. Oh, there you go. Yep. The waterfall pushes your house down, connecting the seed pod with its husk. Oh man, everything else is probably getting soaked. And, and Roxy is no help at all. <laughs> okay, but if we... Do this now. And that does it. That does the trick. Mm -hmm. 
The ambient music is nice. House is finally resurfaced. You retrace your, strips, your steps back home. Sadly, your father would not be waiting for you there. Still, better to regroup before you go off looking for him. What the? Oh, is, is that who I think it is? Oh, psh. Motherfucker. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. How is how why these god dear no this is this is every everything's every, uh, he's got the time travel thing blobs and it's just it's a uh, okay well roll with the punches Gamzee's here now that's fan fucking tastic. Friendly Clown welcomes you to Loka. Seems he would like to be your guide. Okay, sure! <laughs> fuck. <laughs> no, fuck no. <laughs> Received <laughs> a like a bard quest reference of all things. Oh god, he is the bard. This is a bard quest reference. Jesus, fuck. God damn it. <sighs> well, um. <sighs> We're just gonna listen to the music. We're not gonna click Gamzee. And take a drink of water and listen to the music. Okay. Well, let's click on. Let's. Click on the fucking clown. You cautiously approach your new guide. Wait, you said you didn't want him to be your guide? The friendly clown strongly advises you to reconsider. You do not reconsider. You ask him who he is, but he maintains his cryptic, serene expression in perfect silence. You give some thought to sidling to silently away from the awkward encounter and go inside, when the clown finally speaks up. He wants to know if you would like to buy these motherfucking potions. No, I don't want your fucking space fago games. Uh, you examine the clown's wares with <laughs> 420, 420, 420, 420, 420. You examine the clown's wares with due skepticism. He assures you that all of his wicked ex elixirs are motherfucking magic and all that. The clown sure likes to say motherfuck a lot. It is making you very uneasy. Motherfucker. Worse than Fago, actually. I mean, it's like you say worse than Fago, but worse than Fago, but I am absolutely not convinced that this is not Fago. I am convinced that all of these potions are just Fago in glass vials because Gamzee is fucking insane. Now let's let's buy the blue one. Indigo potion. He says this potion will make you strong. I guess it will be pretty handy to be strong. Except that it's probably bullshit and the potion doesn't do that at all. No. Alright, fine. He looks taken aback that he refused such a valuable commodity. He says no, you gotta buy this motherfucking shit. It's the hottest motherfucking noise since a big titted ninja. Okay, whatever you say, clown. Here's your stupid boom dollars. He gives you like 50 of these things? Jesus Christ. So this potion will cause you to lo lose the loose of your legs. Oh, oh, this, oh, these are all going to be references, aren't they? Uh, the blue, the blue potion makes you strong. The orange potion is—it's the—it's the Tavros potion. Oh, th this isn't. 
Oh, this isn't fail, this is blood. Fuck. Damn it. Jesus Christ. Fucking Gamgee, what the fuck? <laughs> Cause you to lose, uh, will cause you to lose the use of your legs. However, you will become an excellent kisser. A trade that is more than motherfucking fair. He says. Personally, you think someone would have to be suicidal to drink that hideous brown liquid? <sighs> You're not gonna let me say no. So fucking fine. Buy one bronze potion. It's like a brown nightmare in a bottle. Yeah, it is. When the clown isn't looking, you chuck it over the side of your cliff house. Excellent. This is, um... I guess our... well... Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is Feffery's blood. Yeah. This lovely looking potion is supposed to have powerful healing properties. It must have. In the inventory for an up-and-coming maid of life. Uh, sure. Yippee, pointless, po pointless pink slop. Gross looking pea soup elixir is touted as a powerful love potion. Just sneak a few drops into the beverage of your object of affection, and he or she will fall head over heels for you, literally, in the event that your sweetheart to be is decapitated. What? You're very wary of this claim, of course, but you guess it couldn't hurt to have one bottle on hand. Sure. Stuff looks nasty. You're going to have to sneak it into an especially strong drink if you don't want to if you don't want Jake to notice. Wait, did you say Jake? You mean, of course, hypothetically, any person you give this to, strictly in the name of silence? Uh, yeah. This conversation is over. This potion is to be imbibed by someone who wants to exhibit unabated lust for all he or she encounters, as well as to behave like more of a douchebag. Yep, that seems fair. I wonder why anyone would want that. He gives you a sly wink and you say nothing more. He says no thanks, but he asks you if you want to buy... You, you say no thanks, but ask if you want to buy it anyway. Fucking fine. Sure, why the hell not? Might as well round out your collection of this useless slime. Ugh, what did, what did you do with Riska's blood? Claims this potion will endow its drinker with incredible luck. <laughs> and he does a stupid looking jig on your fridge, clicking the heels of his dumb elf shoes. You find that a bit hard to swallow, not just because it's implausible, but because that blue muck is straight up nasty, he doesn't get the joke. Okay. Tucks another 420 of your hard-earned boon dollars into his cavernous cod piece. Yeah. Another, uh, another bard quest reference there. Gives you a bottle of the blue stuff. Good motherfucking choice, he says. You roll your eyes. What does Solix's blood do for you? This sickly mustard goo is supposed to make your hacking skills go bananas. Like you would never like you would ever care about that. He says not so fast though, for its benefits are twofold. It also makes a pretty killer substitute for grub sauce in a pinch. Yeah, goody. Whatever, you buy it. Flip the count flip the count clown another cool 420. You wonder why they're all that price. What's the deal with that number anyway? Poor naive Jane. You have no idea how that number culturally means smoking weed! Smoke weed every day. And how stoners think that's funny. You're a smart girl, but there are some things you don't understand. That makes you more endearing. Yep, and more innocent. The first question that pops into your head while examining this fellow, of course, is... Where did he get that outrageous outfit? You don't really have the gumption to ask, but if you ever had to take a wild guess, you're almost certain the answer would be hand-waved away with the word shenanigans. See, look, he is waving his hand, preemptively, as if reading your mind. Truly, this clown is wise. <sighs> this 420 quote was the only thing I reblocked on 420. So what happens if you say no to more of these? Apparently they're... Absolutely not. The clown appears crestfallen and counters with another offer. Buy one bottle, get one free! Why isn't that the offer for Solix's potion? You scowl at him as if he is quite you scowl at him as if he is quite mad. He gets the picture, you're not interested. He then gives you a few bottles of the stuff and says you'll just put it in your tab. No worries. Honk. 
You don't want it, but the clown really thinks you should take at least one of these handy elixirs. He won't take no for an answer. You say fine, you buy a few just to shut him up. Alright, clicked no on that one. You refuse, but the clown spots the look of longing in your eyes. He knows a lovesick lady when he sees one. The kind fella gives you one olive potion on the house. You blush a little and say thank you. You ask him if he's flipped his freaking cod piece? Of course you don't want it. He says, ah, but you must. He insists. He gives you 20 bottles for free. Then says that'll be whatever $400 times, tw 400 times 20 boom bucks is. You'll have a heavy sigh, say fine, and fork over the money. In a move so swift you didn't even follow, he grabs your hand, pushes a bottle of cobalt into your palm, and closes your fingers over it. As you begin to object, he puts his fingers over your lips and whispers, Shh, that'll be 420 motherfucking bonies, yo. <sighs> Tell this clown to go take a long walk off a short cliff. He pretends not to hear you and re restates his offer. You're again kind of fed up with this idiot, so you purchase yet more useless bottles of liquid. Are, you, are we done here, bro? That's a good question. Are we done here, bro? Oh yeah, so I have to click on Equus. Click the yes to Equus. You buy an indigo potion and shrug. Now oh, there's something you won't be drinking anytime soon. Click on the cod piece. Good grief, look at this magnificent cod piece. It is absolutely transfixing. You don't want to stare, but how it arrests the eye. It is hard to look away, yet you somehow find the wherewithal to pry your eyes from its prodigi prodigious heft. The clown catches you staring, and his smile broadens a bit. Let's see. Is that everything? I think that is that everything on this page? Are we done with this clown shop? Alright. We're done. Excellent. And I think that is all the S pages for the day, isn't it? see. Is that the last S page for the day? I kind of lost count. Uh, I bet this page made some people uh, shipped Jane Janesy. It did. Ugh. That's... Sounds unpleasant. Why, why would you do something so horrible to Jane? As shipper with Gamzee? That's, that's just cruel. It's just cruel and unusual shipping. Alright. Well, that's all, folks. Um, we got through it. That's uh, the end of the intermission and the beginning of Act 6, Act 3. Sometimes I lose count of these things. Uh, but anyway, that was that. And now, and now, <laughs> and now Jane has a whole bunch of troll blood that she's got to deal with. Not to mention an insane clown with a huge cod piece. Fantastic. All right, well, see you next time. Bye-bye.